Um, I have a practical application question for technology and its impact on humans, um, specifically cell phones, cellular cell phones. Um, I'm in healthcare and I'd like to know where you stand on the, um, the effects. And I know we've come a long way since the first cell phones came out, but I get particularly apprehensive when I see young people putting cell phones to the heads of little infants and saying, talk to daddy or something like that. Um, where do you, that's my first question, the impact of the waves and things like that, which is out. I know I've looked at some studies um, on human beings. And then my second question is about the um, references for the origins of calculus in the Egyptian culture. Thank you. Okay, uh, given how many people are in line, I think we should try to answer as quickly as possible yeah, do, to yeah. do this. And I'll take a first stab and if you want to try that as well. I, I don't know of any first efforts at calculus in the Egyptian culture, perhaps um, Richard does. And with regard to cell phone use, uh, there's some, a very important fact of science, and that is the act of measurement, it, it's a fascinating thing, measurement, because you can never measure anything precisely. You can, that is, with unlimited precision. You can only measure it with the uncertainties of your measuring device. And all you can do in the lab is try to constrain how uncertain that measurement is. But at some level, it will always be uncertain. And here's what happens. If there is, if you're trying to measure a phenomenon that does not exist, the variations in your measurement will occasionally give you a positive signal as well as a negative signal. If that positive signal is the idea that maybe A causes B, in this case cell phones cause cancer, a paper gets written about that result and then people, people get concerned that cell phones might cause cancer or power lines might cause cancer. This goes way back. And so, in fact, if you look at the full spate of these studies, even those that they thought not to publish because it was not a positive effect, there's some cases where, in fact, there's less cancer. And so these are the phenomenon of a no result. When you actually have A causing B, the signal is huge. It is huge and it's repeatable in time and in place. With cell phones, that repeatable signal is yet to be emerge from the total experiments that are done on it. That being said, if you're worried, Almost every cell phone, you can, you know, they have the, the cell phones on your hip and you've got an earpiece. So just do that if you're worried. But uh, otherwise, we, I can either say the jury is still out or the experimental results are consistent with no effect at all. I have yeah. nothing to add to that. But. Okay. 